So this is what we get in the box. We've got the two part bracket here. We've got a Gen 4 riser cable and we've got all the screws we're going to need to secure things. So let's take a closer look at the bracket. On the back of the bracket, we've got these two clips. So if we push them up to the top, it's going to free up the two part bracket. So you're going to need to do this to separate the bracket or to adjust it into a new position. So with the clips released, we've got up to 65 millimeters of travel distance on the bracket. And when you've got the bracket to the desired position to secure it into place, all you're simply going to do is close the clips again, and that's going to hold the bracket in its desired position. We've also got a thumb screw on the side. So if we loosen up the thumb screw, we've also got travel distance this way as well. So you can see here, we can slide the bracket further in or out of the case. And then when we're happy with the position, we just secure it with the thumb screw. So we'll slide it back to the default position for now. I'm going to open the clips up again to the top and I want to separate the bracket for installation. So all I need to do is slide this to the end, lift it up and away. So starting off with a bit of the bracket that's going to attach to our graphics card, we can slide our riser cable through the bottom and line the other end of the riser cable up with the standoffs at the bottom. And then we're going to use two of the included screws to secure the riser cable to the bracket. Next, we can open the clip at the bottom of the riser cable. We can then line our graphics card up with the slot. Once we're happy everything's lined up, with just a bit of firm pressure on the top and the graphics card is going to clip into place. And then we can secure the graphics card into place with two of the included screws. Next, we need to remove the bottom six horizontal expansion slot covers from the case. We can then slide the end of the bracket that doesn't have the graphics card attached into position. So I'm just not able to get the bracket in fully straight with the top slot cover in place, so I'm going to remove it and try again. Okay, we'll try that again. And then we can secure the bracket in at the front with two screws. I'm just going to now try and reinstall the top slot cover with the bracket installed. So there we go, it does fit. I'm then going to pass the riser cable up from the bottom. So it's a little bit tight here at the back. So what I'm going to do is loosen the thumb screw and slide the bracket forward, which is going to give me plenty of space to get the riser cable plugged in. And if you have an extra pair of hands, I think it might be quite useful to have somebody holding the GPU to make sure it doesn't fall at this stage. Okay, so once we're happy, we've got the riser cable lined up. We can apply some firm pressure and it's going to clip into place. Then all we need to do is set our GPU down onto the bracket at the top. And as I've mentioned, you have 65 millimeters of travel to position the GPU in the case where you want it. So I think I'm going to have it all the way towards the back of the case. So I'm going to slide it to here. And then to secure it into place, I'm just going to have to push the clips at the back down again. There we go. So that's our GPU secured into place. So take a look at the back of the case. You can see with our GPU all the way towards the motherboard, we're not going to have any problem getting cables plugged in. Although if I loosen up the thumb screw and bring the GPU all the way towards the tempered glass panel, you'll notice that actually a lot of our ports are going to be blocked. And that is why Cutter Master do recommend plugging the cables in first before putting the GPU into the case. But because I'm going for it in the position where I have the GPU installed all the way to the back, this isn't going to be an issue for me. So I think the new bracket does a great job of supporting the GPU. You can see we've got absolutely no sag at all, and the installation looks really clean and tidy. It definitely was easier than installing a one-piece bracket. The only fiddly bit was actually supporting the GPU while getting the riser cable plugged in, but that was much easier if you brought the bracket all the way to the front. And what I would recommend is just get an extra person to hold the GPU while you're plugging the riser cable in, and then the rest of it is really straightforward. So I really enjoyed installing this riser cable, and I can most definitely recommend it. So if you're interested in finding out more about it, I'll put a link to it in the description.